hi guys welcome back to another session of best best passion and reality today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this uh, short cross dough it's very simple i'm not going to be using any machine for the dough today so i just want to show you guys a very simple method if you don't have a machine you don't need to bother yourself you just need um, um you just need your hands and your ingredients so what we'll be needing for our baking today i'll be needing uh, my there i have my flour my all-purpose flour that is uh, 375 grams of flour here I have my butter that is 250 grams of butter and there I have my sugar which is 125 grams of sugar and there I have my bowl so I'm just going to add a pinch of salt and that is it for this dough you don't need if you need if you wish you can use a machine but if you don't wish you can just use your hands to mix everything so I'm just going to show you show you guys what I'll be doing <clears throat> This is a dough they call it in German uh, Einstein dry. They call it one, two, three because you have here one is the is the is a sugar, two is the butter, and three is the flour. Because two twenty five, two hundred twenty five uh, grams, you increase it to two fifty with the butter and three seventy five with the with the flour. So that is why it is called one, two, three dough. It's very very easy to make the short cross dough. You can use you can make it and then you can use it in baking. Or baking so many other things you can make biscuits out of it you can make even um, 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 cakes out of it you can do so many things with it <laughs> so guys i'm just going to show you what how we're making it because i'm not using a machine so that's why i said to just show you guys so i'm just going to chop my butter in in small pieces because i'm not using my machine so i'm going to do the mixture with my hands Then I'm just going to add a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. Oh, I forgot also to say I'm going to be using one egg. A pinch of salt and my sugar. And I'm just going to add one medium size of egg. One medium size, as you can see. So I'm just going to mix everything with my hands like I said I'm not going to use any machine for this dough so I'm using by my hands to do the mixture just mix everything together so that is how our mixture looks like and I'm just going to add my flour and then you can just add some flavor to it some vanilla flavor also citron flavor if you wish and that is it so I'm just going to add my flour and then give it a mix again. So like I said, I'm doing my mixture with my hands. I'm not using any machine for it. So for those of you who don't have uh, any kitchen machine or you don't have a hand mixer, you can just do this dough with your hands. You don't need to have a machine for it. And this dough, you can put it in the fridge and it can stay one to two weeks. Yeah, one to two weeks in the fridge and it doesn't get bad. And anytime you want to use it, you just need to take it out and then do the put it in your pan, in your baking pan or in your baking tray or whatever thing you want to bake and then you just use it. I'm just going to show you guys some small ones that I've made and uh, you can still use this dough, like I said, to make some biscuits. Very, very easy. You can make biscuit with it. This is almost the dough they use in making shortbread. Those that biscuit they call shortbread. But then the butter, they increase the, the quantity of the butter. That's why it's so buttery. But, buttery. Buttery? Did they say buttery or buttery? <laughs> that is why it's having too much butter. So this is how our dough looks like. I'm done. I'm just going to give it now to my um baking paper sorry uh, to my foil paper you can just give it to a foil paper or a plastic paper or you can still leave it in the bowl in your baking in your uh, mixing bowl and then you give it to your fridge and let it stay there for two to three hours then you can use it you can work with it 
because now like this it's too soft so you can't actually um do anything with it you have to give the butter and the, the dough back to the to the fridge so the dough gets cold really really cold then you can do something with it so i'm going to give it to my fridge and then i leave it there for two to three hours then i'm going to show you guys what i've made out of this dough like i said very very easy to make very very simple so so this is how our short crust dough looks like after staying in the resting in the um, um, fridge for two hours two hours this is how it looks like now i'm just going to cut out a portion of it that i'll be needing it's really really hard like i said this uh, dough you can make it, keep it you can make it and leave it in the fridge for one week it has no problem you just need to rub it with the paper with the foil paper or a plastic paper so now i need some bit of flour for my working board and then you need a how do you call it a roller how do they call these things in, in english <laughs> and also roll. This dough actually um, uh, feels well when it stays in the fridge for, for maybe one, two days. That is when you get the real taste because the sugar is going to, um, uh, they say, the sugar is going to melt and uh, get into the butter, into the flour, and everything is going to mix well. So normally you make this dough and leave it in the fridge for two days. I'm just going to roll it up. So I've rolled it off and I've, I've just uh, used my stepper in stepping it. Or you can also use a fork if you don't have one. You can just use the fork. You can just use a fork and do like this. Just make some holes to it. Then just give it to your baking paper or to your baking tray. This one, I'm going to use it like the foundation of a cake. So, this is how our end products looks like from our crushed dough. Yeah, like I said, this one, I'm going to be using it like the foundation of a, of a cake. When I bake my cake, I always use this as foundation because uh, that is the secret of, of, the, uh, of the bakers, of the baker. <laughs> so... A house frown will not do this so i always use this as a foundation this one i just have here some small um uh, cups you can fill it with uh, some whipped cream and some fruits on it and that is ready so that is how our cake looks like so i'm just going to show you guys what i'm going to do with uh with the one i said i'm going to be using like a foundation i'll show you guys what i'm going to do with it unfortunately i can't film the whole cake because i just have to do the cake it's a, when i'm baking for my customers i don't do the filming but when i'm when i'm baking for myself or for the house just for for us to eat then i always do the filming so i'm just going to show you guys what i'm going to do with the foundation like i said i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do with my foundation i'm just going to add some jam to it some marmalade this one is from strawberry, a very marmalade. You can use any type. You can use uh, from uh, apricot, from orange, from you can use from any other fruit you want to use. But this is very very necessary. So I'm just going to use this a berry because I'm making it a strawberry. Sorry, strawberry because I'm making it a strawberry cake and. Um, and yeah, you can also use chocolate, chocolate to for this foundation. You can also use chocolate for it if you wish. So, so like I said, it's a foundation for my cake, and I'm just going to put my sponge 
cake on it so that is how it looks like so you can see there you have the the crush dough the crush dough and there you have the cake and then i'm just going to fill it so i don't think this this process is is necessary because i'm have i need my hands to work with them so so that so guys that is it that is just what i wanted to show you guys like i said um uh, this crush dough you can use it in doing so many so many type of cakes so many type of cakes whatever you wish very very easy very simple and very very um, um, um how do i say uh very very delicious it's also very very delicious